Hello class. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to go through the basics of opening an InDesign file, setting the units, uh, creating a uh, layout, also doing a little bit with master pages and character styles. Let's start, before we um, open a document, let's come down to Preferences under uh, Edit, go to Units and Increments, and we're going to change our units and increments to inches. Um, it's just a little bit easier for us to work um, in inches rather than PyCos. So let's say OK, I'll file new document, and now let's. Um, um, we've already had a discussion, or we can have a discussion about orientation and size. Um, we have a variety of different options for the purposes of this tutorial. I'll go ahead and um, work with a landscape eight and a half by eleven. And I'm going to reduce my margins down to a uh, quarter inch. And if I wanted to, I could break the link here and I could increase the bottom margin a little bit, maybe uh, three eighths of an inch, uh, 0.325. I'll say OK. All right, so now we have a single sheet um, and we're ready to work with this. But as, um, as we'll talk about in class, we want to develop some consistency between all the pages. And the way we do this is through master pages. So if you go to the right and you click on pages, um, you'll see that at the top you have um, some master pages. And you also notice that you have, um, um, right now it's set up as uh, facing pages. And so we can, uh, we can discuss you know, the difference between facing pages and, um, and, and just single pages. And all of, um, all of that happens if you go to File, Document, Setup. Um, here you can um, either make uh, facing pages or single pages. If we uncheck that, you'll see that we're just going to be dealing with single page PDFs. So I'm not going to get too far into it now in terms of the facing pages versus single pages. I'm going to work with a single page uh, for the purposes of this exercise and I'm going to right click on the top and I'm going to say I'm going to put in a new master page. Um, you know, you can name it whatever, but this, this looks good for now. It's a new single master page and I'm going to click over to this master page. And, and I know I'm working there right now. And then I can start to uh, come in if we have, uh, if we know it's 11, then we know the middle is going to be right at five and a half. So here's the center of the page. And maybe we want to work um, on a two column layout. And so we'll leave a little bit of a gutter right in the middle. So we'll pull this guy right over there, this guy right over there. And now we have um, some columns and some guidelines that we can work with. And uh, Perhaps we want to leave a little room on top for some text. Um, bring another line down, maybe to about four. This seems like a good size for an image. And um, you know, maybe, uh, maybe we come down to the bottom, leave a little bit of room on the bottom for some text as well. So you have another set of images that maybe fit into this. And then um, we could maybe bring this on either side so we put a little bit of a gutter between the top image and the bottom image. Okay, so basically what we've done is we just kind of created a little bit of a grid layout. Maybe it's not perfect right now, it needs to be, we need to work on it a little bit, but it's starting to establish some consistency. I'm gonna, I can either drag and drop that master onto the page or I can right click and I can say apply master to pages and then select the number of pages um, that I want to apply it to. You might have a different master page for your cover page versus the pages in your portfolio. But what that does, if I'm going to insert pages, right click, insert pages, and say add four more pages to this layout, and I come in and every single page is going to have this grid line that I'm not able to manipulate, but I can snap to the grid lines and, and, and I can see what's happening there. Okay, um, so let's go back to the master page real fast and um, say I want to make sure that my name makes it onto every single one of these pages. I'm gonna drop in a little text box and I'm gonna put, uh, you know, for now I'll just say Lucas Brown. Okay. So now if I go back and look at these pages, every page is gonna have my name on the bottom left-hand side. And um, here's a nice little trick. If I wanna put the page number on the right-hand side, I can, I'll just take this box right here and I'll copy and paste it, drop it down into this corner. I'll change the justification in paragraph 
the left. And then I'm going to select all of this text and I'm going to type for special characters. And that's going to be a marker. And it's going to say current page number. And it shows up as a B on your master page. But when you start to click through your pages, you'll see that it numbers each page. So right off the bat, I've created a master page. I've laid out some columns and uh, I have my name that's going to be consistent and a page number that's going to track the portfolio. All right. So I'm going to end this video here and then we'll come into.